I'm Kate Robinson. Welcome to the Rebel Watch Post Game Report. I'm here with Browning Stubbs, where the Rebels just beat Mississippi State. Um, Browning, what do you think about Stephon Moody's excellent performance here at the Pavilion? Well, Moody, he certainly saved his best performance for last, Kate. I mean, this is a guy he's led Ole Miss in scoring the last two years, but he's never scored over 33 points. Tonight puts up 43 for the Rebels and 24 first half points. I mean, he really brought his energy early in the game, got to the foul line, uh, made 15 of 18 free throws, knocked down six three-pointers. Moody was on fire tonight for the Rebels, and really just the offense did a great job setting screens from him, did well coming off the baseline. Safan Moody, uh, he was the hero tonight for Ole Miss, and, you know, he just really wanted to pound Mississippi State, the, the rival, and I thought the team really rallied well around Moody's energy. Yeah, do you think that Mississippi State's defense had anything to do with Moody's 43 points or not? Well, you know, I, I don't think Mississippi State guarded Moody well at all tonight. I mean, he just got so many open looks, and we saw it again and again and again. And Ben Hallen, Bulldogs coach, just said we just had no answer for him defensively. He was just too quick. So moving forward to the NCAA tournament, do you think that this win really boosts the Rebels for that? Not really, to answer your question. I mean, they did what they had to do. They took care of business. They won the games that are on their schedule. I mean, Ole Miss, they've got to beat Tennessee on Saturday. It's a must win. I said it last week, they needed to beat Georgia. Now, realistically, Kate, Ole Miss probably has to win the SEC tournament to get in the big dance. But with some bubble teams, you know, if, if some of these teams could lose uh, early in the conference tournaments, maybe Ole Miss could sneak up. If Ole Miss can get to the finals in Nashville you know, and have a win over at Kentucky or Texas A&M, then I think they could go to March Madness. But right now, it's a long shot. The Rebels will play Tennessee in Knoxville on Saturday at 11 a.m. This is Browning Stubbs, and I'm Kate Robson. Thanks for joining us.